All right, welcome back everyone. It's so high here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 unique gear guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the unique Malawan pistol exclusive to the Bounty of Blood DLC, the Bubble Blaster. Red text is every day is a holiday, plus 27% weapon damage, plus 36% weapon charge speed, plus 60% splash damage radius, 2.2 times weapon zoom. Damage is 9,403, accuracy is 80%, handling is 80%, reload time is 2.3 seconds, fire rate is 6.15 a second with a 14 mag size. This one here does radiation damage, and according to my source, you can only get it in radiation damage, but I'm not, I'm not for sure on that though, because last video we had a bunch of people comment after I said that the beast was only shock, that there were some different elements, so do with that what you will. In order to get this weapon, we're going to be coming to Ashfall Peaks on the map. Just follow where I go. We're going to be picking up a side quest called Dirty Deeds. So just follow where I go right here. It's very easy. Follow, uh, fast travel to the second uh, fast travel station on Ashfall Peaks. It's farther along within the map, and you just follow where I go. It's very easy to get here, and it's a very easy quest as well. Uh, real quick, touching on that thing that happened in the last video. I had somebody comment that the beast can come in cryo, one said radiation. So, at least for now, with these, they might not, my source may not have been updating the uh, uniques like elements and stuff, so I'm not sure on that. But it says here this one just comes in radiation, but that might be different. Just keep that in mind. But there's the weapon right there. You saw I just got it underneath the map once I turned in the quest, done everything. Uh, here's the gameplay with the weapon. Now, I, this weapon is pretty good in my opinion. One of the one of the better uniques here in the uh, Bounty of Blood DLC. My only problem with it is that uh, it's just kind of like it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of hard to hit stuff with it sometimes. Like it says the accuracy on this weapon is 80%, but sometimes I just can't seem to hit anything with it. That's because uh, mainly what this weapon does is it'll shoot like a three round burst of slow moving uh, orbs. So it's kind of like the lob, like that, but uh, not uh, kind of like the old lob, the one where you shot it. You, it was like a burst, so it's sort of like that. But yeah, uh, you shoot them; they're slow moving orbs and stuff like that. That's why the accuracy is a little bit well low, in my opinion. It says on the card 80%, but I just can't seem to hit anything with this uh, pistol. Sometimes it's just like I shoot it right at them, but it like goes right over their head or something, or. I shoot it right at them and it just doesn't hit for some reason or something like that. I don't know why. But whenever I do hit something with this pistol, it does pretty good damage. Uh, obviously on the card it says plus 60% splash damage radius, so you know what that means. This weapon could probably do really good on an explosive, uh, on a splash damage Moe's build. Uh, since it's going to get that plus in splash damage. So if, you any, if, you, if any of you guys, if I can actually speak have a Mose out there and have this weapon uh, that has a splash damage Mose build, let everybody know if it's pretty good on there. I would assume it is because it's pretty good here on Amara and I have nothing really on a splash damage. But I'm just going to go in and assume if you have a good Mose build that this thing can couple with, I feel like it could do pretty good on there as well. Uh, but yeah, that's all, I have. That's all we want to talk about the gun here. Real quick here at the end of the video, I would like to know if any of you guys would be interested in watching a Skyrim playthrough, Fallout 4, maybe Fallout New Vegas, or something along those lines, uh, I've been uh, preferably Skyrim, I think I can want, but it's whatever you guys want. But if you guys want it, but I've been playing a ton of Skyrim on my off time whenever I'm not editing videos or I'm not uh, playing Borderlands. I've been playing a ton of Skyrim, and I did try to do a playthrough of Skyrim back. I think about a month before Borderlands 3 came out, but I couldn't really do it because that was about the time I got my new job, and uh, well, a, a little bit after that when I got my new job, I couldn't really keep keep it going, so I just had to stop doing it, but now that I'm laid off from my job for a little while because of, you know, everything that's going on, I feel like I have a lot more free time since I'm just sitting at home that I could actually do a playthrough for it, but that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.